How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video on this channel and today we're setting up Unify Wi-Fi at my buddy Jeremiah's greenhouse. The long-term goal with his greenhouse is to have it completely automated down to putting the chemicals into the water to manage all of the pH levels for the hydroponics table, controlling the heat of the greenhouse with fans and heaters all automated. This is a different type of video for you guys. We're doing more in real life work instead of just on the computer, on the phone. You're getting to see a whole install. This is a access point, a bridge to bridge network system. System. In the next coming videos, we're going to be doing all the smart home and automation stuff for this. So stay tuned. There's going to be multiple videos in this series. If you guys like the whole greenhouse slash homestead vibe of the video, please drop a comment. We want to do more of this type of content where we're upgrading the greenhouse and adding technology to the homestead in various different ways. So if you like that, please drop a comment and let us know so we can do more of those videos for you. We also have a new Discord server. If you're looking for home assistant support or you unify support or or just like general just tech questions and things like that in the description below there will be a link to the discord server go ahead and join it you can come chat with the community and i ask questions and just enjoy hanging out with everyone so yeah let's get started first phase of the process was running the direct burial cat 5e cable from the greenhouse to the shop through the wood line on Jeremiah's property. I then took a small tumble down the hill. We're good though. <laughs> on camera, right in front of the camera. <laughs> We continued running the cable, and then I chopped the old satellite internet cable, then shoved the new cable through the hole. We're using Structured Cable Products Cat5e Direct Burial Cable on a spool for this install. This cable is to get buried and tucked away as much as possible later. We begin by running Structured Cable Products white Cat6 cable inside of the greenhouse to where we're going to be hanging the access point. We run the cable to where our power source is, where we will place the PoE injector and connect it to the line from the shop. We put a couple tacks and zip ties to keep the wire tied down to the structure. This quality of install is just good for us, not particularly for our client. This is all for personal use and done on a tight budget. This is where I open the Swiss Army Knife Ultra Access Point. In the box alongside the access point are a template, screws, anchors, zip ties, and a metal bracket. I was pretty impressed with this access point overall. Maybe a review coming soon on the channel. I zip tie it to the pole because mounting it couldn't really get easier than that. Setting up the nano stations are fairly straightforward. The default IP address of all nano stations are 192.168.1.20. I first plug in one of the nano stations and go to that IP address in my web browser. The default username and password are both UBNT. I then rename the first nano station so I know which one is which. I then set a static IP address for this nano station. I always recommend adding a DNS too. I didn't do it here. I'm now into the second device, repeating the same exact steps I did for the first device, giving it a unique name and giving it a unique static IP address. After applying the new settings on both the devices, it prompted me to change the admin password. I then go back to my first device and tell it to be an access point and broadcast the frequency between both of the devices. I create a unique SSID and pre-shared key. I then go to the second device and tell it to be a station and to start scanning for other access points. After a few reboots, it finds the correct access point and I select it. 
I follow that up by then typing in the pre-shared key I set earlier. A few more reboots later and applying settings, we're online. And the nano stations are talking wirelessly. We then clean up and move on to the next part. We're now back outside where I start terminating all of the cables we ran earlier and we start mounting the nano stations. We decided just to zip tie to the gutter for easy use on the house side. We mount the second nano station on a pole on the shop so we can beam the wireless connection from the house to the shop, which then feeds internet over the direct burial cable we ran earlier in the video. Unfortunately, during this section of the video, I had to stop recording on my iPhone and use it to set up the access point because my Android phone was not cooperating, so we only have a speed test to show. The access point was just set up in standalone and powered over a PoE injector. All right guys, so we're at the end of the day here and we are successfully done with the Unify access point. We have the bridge to bridge all set up and we're getting about 50 megs down out at the greenhouse. Everything works really well. So we're happy with how the Wi-Fi came out here. Next video, we're gonna be setting up all of the lighting and heat automation. So subscribe to stay tuned for that video. If you like the video, please like the video. If you dislike the video, drop a dislike. If you like the content, please subscribe, drop a comment. Tell me if you want more of the homesteading content, integrating with technology, and join the Discord server. Link in the description. Peace.